Uh, in this next video, I'm going to take an equation and draw a circuit. So I've already added in the equation here in Cedar Logic. So I chose um, decorations, I added text, and I put in the entire um, equation that we're going to work on. So the first thing I want to do is try to determine which gates I need. So right here, the complement of A times B, you know that that's going to need an AND gate. And then take a look at your next um, expression in parentheses. That is B plus C, you know that that's going to need an OR gate. And then you have these two expressions multiplied by one another, that's another AND gate. So, so far we need two AND gates and an OR gate. And there's one more that I see, and that's right here. Uh, the inversion of A or the complement of A will require a NOT gate. So let's start building. Go over to your basic gates, and as we said, we're going to need an AND gate for the first expression in parentheses. We'll need an OR gate for the second expression in parentheses. And then we'll need one more AND gate for the output of this expression, output of this expression, ANDed together. So I'm just going to move these guys over. Now you need an inversion, so you need your NOT gate. Go over to Invert and Connect, and we'll choose the small one. We can use the small one in this case, and that's going to go right here. Uh, now you need your inputs. So if I assume that this is A, right, it's going to be A coming in here. This is B, this is going to be B, and this is going to be C. You'll need three toggle switches, so go over to Input and Output. Put in your toggle here for A, your toggle for B, and your toggle for C. Now B, you'll be able to reuse. So you'll have B connecting here, but you'll also have B connecting here. And Cedar Logic allows you to do that. So you can space these out a little bit, just make it more uh, e easy to see, more pleasing to the eye, if you will. Um, try to line everything up. And then let's label next. So bring text over for A, for B, for C. Okay. So you have A, B, and C. Each of these is labeled. Again, just kind of line everything up, make it look nice, easy to read. And start connecting. So red square to red square connects A. Red square to red square. And so you've connected your complement of A to your AND gate. Now connect B. Now connect B here. So we're going to be able to reuse this input. You don't have to draw B twice, but we're going to use it here for this expression. Um, you can just do the same thing you did before. So go to the red square, click. Eh, sometimes it doesn't work. Let's try again. Oh, it keeps wanting to pull that wire down, but I swear. There we go. I got it. Okay. Um, so now you've connected B into two places. And... C. And the reason you want to do this is because you could test B uh, with each value. So if B is a 0, it's going to be a 0 here and here, right? And if B is a 1, it's going to be a 1 here and here. And so when you toggle, that's, that's what it mimics. Okay, so the output of your AND gate, that's this guy right here, and the output of your OR gate, that will be this one, will then be ANDed together. So connect those as well. Oops. What am I doing? Okay. There we go. Um, all right. So now you can toggle each of these inputs and see what happens. So right here you see already this is red because we have a zero coming in and a one coming out of the knot. So one goes in and a zero goes into this. Notice that your output uh, we'll need to connect it, actually. I didn't connect it yet, but you can see the wire is still black. Um, so go over to Input and Output and connect your LED. 
Okay, so here's going to be our output so we can see what the value is, whether it's a zero or one. Um, and again, wires are black to represent zeros, red to represent ones. So if you start toggling these values, Right there, you can see that if A is a 0 and C is a 0 and B is a 1, your output or your function will be a 1. Okay, so you can just keep playing with it. Turn this off and see what happens, right? The only time your function results is in a 1, looks to me, is when your B is a 1. And you can plug numbers in here to see if that's true. But you, you mimicking this behavior shows us that as well. Okay, so keep toggling and keep, keep working on that. Uh, and in this next video, I'll show you how to expand, reduce, uh, minimize your function, and then um, we'll compare the circuits side by side so you can see the difference.